Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to my basement Dano Dungeon. So today I'm going to show you guys some new insects, okay? I've actually purchased some new insects, some new centipedes, some new spiders. They are all right here, okay? Check this out right over here. So we will be unboxing them. So I am finally expanding my collection of insects. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so let's begin our video, okay? Let's start off uh, by opening one of these. To be really honest with you, I may not know facts about every single figure. So let's just do the opening today, okay? So what do we have right here? Wow, this one looks like a um, dragonfly if I'm not wrong. Is there any facts about a dragonfly um, in this literal leaflet? I don't think so. So let's just remove this. I think it's a really beautiful um, dragonfly um, from Collecte. Yep, it is a dragonfly. I know that dragonflies, they have quite a short lifespan, if I'm not wrong. I think about two weeks. I'm not too sure. I need to do more research and I can probably tell you guys in the next video, okay? So you can see this is a really beautiful dragonfly um, figure. The four wings are actually like translucent, which I mean you can slightly see through them. And um, the body is actually very very nicely painted. It has six legs and um, the eyes looks really beautiful as well. So let's put this right over here. So that's our first insect of the day. The next one is actually not an insect. It is basically a spider. Is this like a black widow spider? I have no idea. I can tell you that I don't have facts about this particular spider right over here. Yes, it is a black widow spider. So let's get this out from, you know, this little case right here. So let's see. Black widow spider. Let's remove um, the tag. Uh, maybe we need a pair of scissors to make it faster. To cut it faster. Oops, let's do one more. Oh, there you go. Nice, nicely done. So you can see we have a black widow spider right here. Um, as you guys can see, the bottom of this black widow, you can actually see like a red spot right here. So spiders, they have eight legs. They don't have six legs. So if I'm not wrong, insects have six legs. So the spider, it's not exactly an insect. Yep, a really, really beautiful one. Okay, you can see it has like plenty of eyes at the top. Looks like a real spider. I mean, you can definitely play a prank on the friends, but don't do that. I'm not encouraging you guys to actually do a prank on your friends, okay? Definitely not. Let's take a look at another spider figure right here. So, I mean, if you guys do not know, I don't really have a lot of spider figures, you know, less than five for sure. So this would definitely help us um, expand our collection, okay? Um, yeah, let's get this out. Wow, what is this? Two, four, six, eight. Eight pair of eyes. And what does it say? Mexican Red Knee Tarantula Spider. Wow, looks really beautiful. You can see this spider. It is actually quite, I think it's going to be quite big. And it actually has like fur or rather like hair on its body. Quite different from the Black Widow. So you can see all these little spots are actually the eyes. So they definitely have a very wide field of vision. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Wow. These two, are they considered legs? I'm not too sure. Probably not. But they can def they definitely have more than six legs for sure. Okay. So we have a black widow right here. And this, it's a red knee. Mexican red knee tarantula and a dragonfly. Next, let's have a look at um, this one. It seems to be a mini scorpion. So let's open this up and have a look. I mean, apologies, I don't have much facts about each figure yet because I don't exactly remember, you know, which figure we actually purchased. But in the next video, I'll definitely be um, sharing more facts about you know, each insect and um, each animal. So let me get rid of um, this little string right here so you guys can see. Yep, we have removed this. So what is this? Let's take a look at the name. It's basically known as a scorpion, but 
on um, this little sheet right here, it says it is a yellow fat tailed scorpion. Yellow fat tailed scorpion. So you can see the scorpion has two claws. And what do you even call this? A sting right here. So this is actually used as a weapon. So one, two, three, four, four legs and two huge claws. Really, really beautiful. Okay. Scorpion is actually a 20. 09 figure. I think this scorpion figure it can definitely be bigger. If it's bigger, it would definitely look um more exciting. Next up, what is this? Let's have a look at this. I think we have a beetle right here, or stack beetle. So let's have a look at this. Okay, let's get this out from um the box. So let's have a look at this. I mean. Apologies once again, I don't have much facts about, you know, every single figure at the moment But in the next video, I'll probably I'll do another, you know, insect collection videos So that I will be able to share with you more facts, okay? Let's get this out Okay, let's get this out So what do we have right here? Her stack beetle, okay? I think this can be considered as an insect, I suppose. One, one, two, three, four. Uh, no, six legs. And these two are probably like feelers, and this is like a claw. Really, really interesting looking um, beetle. Stack, stack beetle, 2015 figure. Yeah, I don't think we have uh, many beetle figures. Okay, so this will got to be our very first one, I suppose, in our collection. So let's have a look at another one. What is this? Oh, it's a lady bug. Or is it lady bird? I think there are two ways of, um, you know, pronouncing it. Let's have a look at this. A lady bird right here. So let's get rid of um, this tag. So we can see we have a really, really adorable looking. You guys know that lady birds, they can be quite small. Like the size of this, like really, really small. And it's really hard to find. I have not really seen like many ladybirds before in um, you know my garden. So you can see, yeah, they're really beautiful. They're circular insects, and um, they are like bright red in color. Okay, so this is a ladybird. Let's see what else we've got inside this box. Wow, a centipede. Yep, centipede. The bite can be. I'm not too sure whether we should use the word poisonous or we should just you know use the word venomous i'm not too sure but the bite is quite it can be quite deadly i feel i don't think the bite is enough to kill a human but it can definitely give you really serious pain okay but i'm not too sure i'm you know i, I need to do more research so definitely when you see a centipede stay away from them okay the bite can be quite deadly I think there are some really huge centipedes, okay, that can cause some serious injury to you. So this is a centipede, and um, yeah, I've actually saw a centipede in my home. The body texture is like super rubbery, okay. Even if you want to kill them, it's not easy because they are like, you know, it's really, really rubbery. And yeah, centipedes are pests for sure, okay. Check this out, you have two. Wow, so many different legs. I mean, so many number of legs. It's really hard to count. So let's count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. If you count this, it's basically 38. I mean, we didn't count this, you know, this two, six, okay? So, yeah, there you go. Wow. Centipede. I'm not too sure, you know, maybe different centipedes have different number of legs, for sure. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at the um, next one. Okay, the next figure is actually a butterfly. Nice. Very nice. This is also my first butterfly figure it's actually known as a small tortoise shell that is a very very interesting um, name for a butterfly small tortoise shell butterfly wow 
I mean, maybe it's because the patterns on his body looks like a um, the patterns of um, a small tortoise. That is very very weird. I mean, let's take a look at this. I have no idea why it is known as the um, small tortoise shell butterfly. Perhaps it's due to um, the shapes of the wings right here. You can see like the lines. They do represent, um, I mean, they do have um, some similarities when it comes to the um, hexagonal shape of a tortoise shell. Possibly, I'm not too sure. Okay, next one. Let's have a look. What do we have? I think this is a bumblebee. If I'm not, if I'm not wrong, let's have a look. Bumblebee. Yes. Let's get this out. Let's remove this. Right. So you can see, we finally, we finally have a collection of insects. That is pretty wonderful. Bumblebee. Yes, I've definitely seen bumblebees before. I mean, if you see one, just stay calm. Don't use your hand and um, swipe at them because they may attack you, okay? So you can see this bumblebee is quite large and it has like hair on its body, okay? Of course, bumblebees, they love pollinating at the flowers. Next, what is this? Praying mantis, yes, praying mantis. They are, I've actually saved a praying mantis before. It was actually like stuck, stuck on a road, like being, um, like it was under like a rock. So I actually removed the rock and put the praying mantis back onto a plant. Yeah, very, very interesting. So let's take a look at this. So praying mantis, I think they will actually like stare at you. I've actually seen like praying mantis staring at um, humans. They can actually like, you know, move their head. They can even turn their, rotate their head like backwards. So yeah, I mean, if you guys have watched like Kung Fu Panda, <laughs> mantis is actually one of the um, animals. And yeah, they're quite agile. They look very, very cool. Yep. They definitely do not look like, you know, the usual insects because they can actually have eye contact with you, which is kind of like creepy at times. So you can see this is a very very nice figure of a praying mantis. Yep, 2009 figure, really really beautiful. I love the wings, you can see the detailing done very nicely. The eyes, the eyes looks a bit um, unrealistic I must say, but still looks very very cool. Let's see what else we've got. Another butterfly, a monarch butterfly. So yeah, let's see whether we are able to like find more insects to add to our collection. I think that'll be really, really awesome. So let's have a look at this. Uh, let's cut this open. I'm very happy that we are finally like expanding our collection and we finally have a small collection of like insects, spiders and other, um, you know, little animals right over here. So a monarch butterfly I would definitely try to find more facts about this particular um, um, the butterfly for you. Okay, so you can see it has a beautiful, it has very beautiful wings for sure. The patterns on his body looks really, really beautiful. Okay, I'll make sure to get more facts for you guys. I think we are down to our last, um, possibly like two figures left. Oh, we actually have a um, mosquito. Okay, let's have a look at this. Mosquitoes, um, I mean, to be honest, I hate mosquitoes. They give you bites which are really, really um, itchy. And some of them can actually give you like dengue, which is a kind of um, very, very um, deadly kind of um, disease, illness, I mean. So let's open this. Hopefully there are some facts. Nope, there isn't any facts about a mosquito. I'm pretty sure that you guys have um, lots of facts about mosquito. So when they're they're near you, when they're especially close to your ear, they will give out this buzzing sound, which is so 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 annoying. I hate the buzzing sound of a mosquito. And when they give you a bite, 
you know, you're gonna have like a swollen little bump. Yeah, which is very, very itchy. I think we are left with our last figure of the day. What is this? It doesn't look like an insect to me. So let's have a look at this and see what this is. Let's have a look. Um, wow. Um, I think this is not an insect. This is a prehistoric creature which is known as the um, um, Relicia Rex Trilobite. Okay, I need to um, come up with more facts about this for you. It definitely looks like um, a prehistoric animal, possibly a sea animal, a trilobite, possibly. Relicia Rex Trilobite. Yeah, it's a 2019 figure. You can see this is figure is actually really really realistic looks really beautiful i mean it reminds me of the horse shoe crab to be honest okay so yep we have finished let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we have thirteen new insects spiders and um little animals okay I want you guys to let me know down below like which one is your most favorite one, okay? Thanks for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.